Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at another smock kit. This is actually the Smock X Priv kit with the TFV12 Prince Tank. Um, this does hold 8 milliliters of e-liquid. The mod does go up to 225 watts and it is temperature control. It does come in a variety of colors. I do have the rainbow version, which is really pretty if you haven't noticed. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and go down and take a look at it. And I'll let you know the menu system. Go, just briefly go over the tank. Only because I reviewed the Prince tank like three or four times already. Because it comes with just about every mod that they have. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And then I'll come back up and we'll do pros and cons. Okay, so here we are with the Smock X Priv Kit with the TFV12 Prince tank. This is a 225 watt temperature control device. This is the box that it comes in. There's your scratch off authenticity. And yeah, so that's the box. And then on the back, it tells you what's included in the kit. If you wanna go ahead and pause that. It's got the mod, the tank, two coils, the replacement glass, um, USB cable and manual and, and spare parts. So that's that. And then we'll go ahead and open that up. And Let's open this part up and there we go. We do have some silica gel. Please do not eat this. I'm not responsible for the silica gel. And then we've got the mod. I'm going to take out the rest of it and then we'll go over the mod. Yeah, I already broke this ring. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, so inside you're going to get this quality control card. It's showing that it did pass quality. It's also got your little barcode for the app verification. You've also got this caution card. It's gonna tell you not to use any batteries that are damaged at all. You wanna use a pristine battery for the best performance and to take care of your mod. And then you've got the user manual. The user manual is only in English, um, just in case you thought it might be in something else that's not. It's actually only in English. And then we've got the specifications here if you wanna pause that. Um, I'll just go through a couple specs. Um, the resistance range is a 0.1 to a 2.5 in variable wattage and a, zero, a 0 0.05 to 2 ohms in temperature control. It does have temperature in Fahrenheit from 200 to 600 degrees and in Celsius from 100 to 315 degrees. And with the um, bubble tank, it does take 8 um, milliliters of e-liquid. So that's an awesome amount. I love these Prince tanks. Those are probably one of my favorites. Um, it does go from one watt to 225 watts, and then it gives you the specifications of the mod itself. Okay, and then you also get um, an extra coil in here. I've actually swapped out the coils for this one. This is the Q4 coil. It is the 0.4 ohms, and this goes from 40 to 100 watts, and it's best between 60 to 80 watts. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is called a quadruple coil. Um, yeah, so that's that. There's the bottom and the airflow, so we're gonna leave that there. It does come with a spare glass. You only get the one bubble tank, which is on it, the bubble glass. So if you do break it, this is the only one that you get with it. You also get your spare parts bag. This has all your O-rings and your fill um, rubber thing. And then you've got your USB cable. This is actually different than the ones that they usually provide. The ones that they usually provide are those black ones. This one seems a lot stronger. I really like this. Very fancy, fancy. So we'll go ahead and put that away. And then we've got the matching Prince tank to the mod. So we'll go over this. I've already gone through the Prince tank a few times. So I'm just going to quickly go through it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go over the mod. So I'm just going to put this on the side. Okay, so it does come with that fancy, fancy Cobra tip, which is removable. It is an 810 size, but it does not fit your goon, uh, goon size. Um, they, I love the drip tips that they provide with it. I really like the Cobra. This one actually matches a little bit more than some of the other ones. This is the rainbow. The top fill, it does have this locking mechanism. This is one of the things that I really, really love about the Prince tank is this lock. Um, because a lot of times you can actually just push it in your purse or your pocket and it'll open up. This way it will only open if you press that button and flip it this way and you fill it down this hole, never down the center. And you can close that up. The bottom does have um, wide airflow. Whatever you do to one side will happen to the other. So you've got that. The bottom um, is right here and it says designed by Smock and it's got the rainbow design all throughout this, which I think is really, really nice. 
if you open this up. This is how you would actually remove your bubble glass to clean it. Or if you want to um, replace the glass with the other one, you don't like the bubble glass, you can do that as well. It comes off like that. And then here is the other coil. This one is actually the, I think it's the T10 coil. You just unscrew it like this and it comes right out. And this is the, yeah, the T10 coil. And this one is the 0.12 coil. It goes from 60 to 120 watts, but it's best between 80 and 110. So yeah, so that's that one. And this one is called the, I'm gonna butcher this, decouple, decouple, I don't know. Anyway, it's got the six in there. So we're gonna go ahead and use this coil. That's why I switched it out. And um, we'll go ahead and get that lubed up right now. Let me go ahead and get that. E-liquid, we're actually gonna be using this one. It's my e-liquid, Queen by Wendy Vapes. This is the Royal Muffin. Um, this is actually a freshly based, baked biscuit with a perfect blend of pear with some strawberry jam. Um, yeah, it's it's yummy. It's, it's really yummy. So we're gonna use that one. And I'll leave a link to where you can find um, the juice down below. And if you get, it comes in 100 mils and 60 mils. If you get five of the 60 mils, you actually get a coupon code and free shipping. So yeah, so we gotta look into that. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna prime my coil. I talk about this every single time that I have a coil that is like this, um, because this way it helps you actually get the cotton all wicked up and ready to go. You never wanna just put e-liquid in your tank and then let it sit because it doesn't saturate as fast as just putting some e-liquid on the coils just to get it started, put it together, and then fill it and then put it aside. You wanna leave it for about maybe like 10, 15 minutes um, so that it can saturate really, really well so that you're not getting any cotton flavor. What you're gonna do is just go ahead and fill that up. I can already smell my biscuit. <laughs> Gonna put some e-liquid in there, close this up, and I'm gonna set this aside, and then we'll go over the mod. I'm just gonna leave that there. And when you get the mod, you're actually gonna have like this protective film on it, so you can go ahead and take that off. I left it on so I didn't scratch it up before my review <laughs> because I'm really bad at that. Okay, so if you look at the mod, this right here is your fire button. It's very, very clicky, so this whole thing is your fire button, but it's mainly on the top. If you do it on the bottom, it's a little, you can't press it, so you do wanna do it on the top to the middle. This is the other side, which is plain. Here's the bottom. This is the front where the USB is. This will be your LED screen. It does have a spring-loaded 510. This is the back, which if you notice, the back actually matches the drip tip almost exact, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, and then it does take two 18650 batteries. You just go ahead and remove this. It does have four really, really strong magnets in it. And it's got the little um, helpful strip to help you get the batteries out. And then this is your down and your up button. To turn the mod on, you're gonna click it five times fast. And then it's gonna say Smug, XPRIV, and then there's your screen. Right away, you're gonna see your indicator for battery A, battery B. This is where your wattage is gonna show. This is showing your vape strength, which is, I have mine in normal. Um, it's gonna show your ohms here, your puff counter, which I've already cleared. I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, your voltage, and then this is the amount of seconds that you actually press your um, fire button. It's already locked. Just unlock it, okay. So as many times you fire your button, that's what it would do if I had something on it. Let me go ahead and put something on it so it'll read for you. I'm gonna put my Kaylee RDA on there for a second. Okay, so if I press this, the times, oops, new. New please, new coil. All right, so if you press it, it'll see how the seconds change here. And I'll show your ohms, it shows you how many puffs, and every time that you do it, it'll change. And then um, you've got your plus and minus, so you can increase your wattage, you can decrease your wattage here. It does go from one watt to 225 watts. And then um, to get into the menu, you're gonna click it three times. And then once you're in the menu, this is your wattage, your titanium, nickel, stainless steel, and this is your custom curve. To move around, you just press your up or down and it'll move you to the next one. This is on your nickel, your nickel, your stainless steel, and then there's your memory curve. 
Whenever you're in one of the temperature controls, if you long press, meaning hold down the fire button, it'll switch to the next area, which is the wattage. This is how you change your wattage in temperature control. And you can go up and down and it does go from one watt to 225 watts. And you can change this here. So it'll give you a little bit of a ramp up time and temperature control. If you wanna to switch to the TCR, you press and hold your fire button again. It'll switch over to the next section and this is where you can actually set your TCR settings. And then to go back, there you are. All you have to do is press and hold the fire button and it'll take you straight to the menu while you're in temperature control. I'm actually gonna put it back to wattage, but I did wanna show you um, the temperature control and changing your wattage. Um, on your wattage, you can also long press your fire button. It'll scroll down to the wattage. You can change it here if you want to, but I don't understand why you wouldn't do it from the main screen, but you can here. If you press and hold it again, this is where your preheat is. On your preheat, there's normal, hard, and soft. I use normal. Um, some people use hard because it gives them a little bit of a ramp up. Um, and soft would be, you know, just for a light wrap, ramp up, but I do like it on normal, so that's why I leave it. And if you okay, just press here's it again. Your puff settings. Um, if you want to change your amount of puffs, you just scroll up or down and you can change them. I do leave it on um, never because I don't need it to actually ever shut off my mod because I've reached the puff settings. So I would suggest never, especially if you don't know what it is and you don't want it to shut off. Oops, I took too long talking. And um, if you press the fire button and hold it, it'll go down here for the puff counter to clear it. You can choose yes or no. Once you're done, you just press your fire button. It goes over to this screen. This is your screen settings. You can actually change the color of the um, display of some of the um, things on the display on any color that you want. You can have it in white, you can have it in green, you can have it in any color you want. I think I'm gonna leave it in this like purplish tone. If you press and hold it, all right, you have to press and hold it. Hold on. Okay, press and hold the fire button. It'll come down here to screen time. It does go all the way up to 240 seconds. You can lower that, that's not a problem if you just want it for like 10 seconds or not. If you press and hold again, It'll go over to the auto lock. You can actually change to auto lock or to keep it unlocked. If you press it again, this is where you're gonna to get to your power off screen. The X means that you don't wanna power it off. And then if you switch it to the check mark, this is to power it off. And if you press and hold it, change that, press and hold it, it'll actually shut off your mod. So yeah, so that's basically everything on there. What I am gonna show you is a couple shortcuts. Let's go ahead and turn this on. You have to remember to long press or short press because if you don't long press, it does come back to the main menu as you saw. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're long pressing through the menu unless you just wanna jump. So the shortcut methods are if you actually press the fire button and the plus, you can actually change your um, vape strength you just tap it and then you change it. You can change it from soft, normal to hard. I'm gonna leave it on normal. Press your fire button and it's set. Still on normal. If you press your minus in your fire button, this will actually get you to your temperature control. So oh, you have to do it really, really quick. So just tap it and then switch it. Tap, switch, switch, there we go. And this is where you can actually change it to temperature control or your um, custom curve. I'm gonna leave it in wattage, it's already there. And then to lock the mod quickly, all you do is just tap the plus and the minus here and it'll lock your mod. In locked mode, you can also shut off the device. So it's a little bit faster than having to go through the whole menu. Lock your mod so that it's locked and then press and hold your fire button and it'll actually turn off after about five seconds. See, there you go. And it's turned off. All right, so that's basically the whole mod in itself and menu. I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, right, the tank on it, and then we'll go up and I'll give you my pros and cons. So see you on top. Okay, so here we are back on top with the X-Priv kit by Smock. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. As usual, the Prince tank does perform like the Prince tank performs. 
I still like the Cobra drip tip. I like the eight mil capacity. That to me is huge because I go through juice like crazy. It's not even funny. So I do like that. I love the airflow that you can adjust it so that we already know about what I like and I like the lock feature on here. Um, on the mod, it's basically like most of the smock, um, newer smock mods. So it's very user friendly. It's like the mag, it's like the majesty. They're very, very similar. This time they did move the buttons. The up and down is actually now here um, for you to select rather than having it on the bottom, which I think is a nice feature because with the rainbow, it looks really, really sick on it. Yeah, it looks, yeah. I do like that you can change out the, um, you can change out the colors on the screen. I think that that's really, really awesome. I really like doing that. Um, yeah, and to go up to, I would never vape up to 225 watts. I don't see a reason to vape up to 225 watts, but if you want to, you can. Um, I do like the temperature control, having the feature of um, being able to change your wattage and temperature control. That to me is a very, very big plus. Um, I do like that, um, this is also firmware upgradable, so if, or updatable. So if there is a firmware update, you can update the mod. It's not gonna be out of date or anything like that because you do have it. I do love, love, love the USB cable that they provide in this one. I think it's a really, I think that they should provide something like that in every single one because it's very, very sturdy. Uh, it's it's just, it's better than the, the thin black one that they usually provide. Um, I do love the screen. The screen is crystal clear. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, it is super, super clear. I I know that the other ones are pretty much the same, but this one for me, it looks bolder. It looks more more lit. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it looks, it looks better to me. It just, I don't know, it's just got this look to it. So yeah, so if you're interested in getting this, they have it at vprosity.com. I will leave the link down below where you can get it. Um, it's actually just new on the market. I'm not exactly sure of the price, but I'll leave that down there as well. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for a higher wattage device that looks good and it, it fits right in your hand, it's a really, really nice uh, fit. And you can always lock them on. If you lock them on, it won't fire either. So it's locked and it won't fire. So I do like that. Um, I don't like mods that i mean if you lock in it's still firing i the only reason why i would think that that would be good would be if it's a touch screen for a touch screen yeah you definitely want to do that but for something that's not a touch screen if you lock it it should lock the whole device so i do like that i like the fact that they still allow for the shortcut so that you can get to the lock screen instead of having to press it five times you can actually just tap these two buttons here turn it to lock and then if you press and hold the fire button down for about five seconds it turns off um, instead of the old, old menus, um, I think I had, I think I want to say it was the H priv that I had and you had to literally go through the whole menu to the off to actually turn it off. So I do like this a lot better. I think the menu is very, very user friendly. You've only got a few different screens to go through, but it's got many options on each of the screens. So if you're interested in getting the mod, it's vprosody.com and yeah, so I'll leave all that information down below.